We're trying to direct the focus on our, our game, making sure that we're improving on a nightly basis, cleaning some things up. Our starts haven't been great lately, so we'd like to improve that. Uh, but just refining uh, uh, our systems and our structure and that type of stuff so that we're prepared to play when it, uh, when it begins. Do your goalies and your lineups this weekend depend on results? Like, do they change if certain things happen? Potentially. Um, you know, I don't know what tomorrow will present. Uh, we're only going to worry about today. And uh, when we get on the plane tonight, obviously, it will be one of the last games uh, to play to be played on Saturday. Uh, we'll know a lot more heading home. You talk about McDavid's game. <coughs> Is there a mental strength in him probably from years in home that keeps shooting up for a young guy? Oh, I, absolutely. Uh, I think those players are... Uh, not only special and gifted when it comes to their skill set and their talents that you see, but the uh, the mind that drives those elite players is very, very strong. Uh, not only reading plays and that type of stuff, but um, the persistence and the resiliency that they have. They're checked all the time. Uh, Connor in particular checked all the time every game by the other team's top pair, uh, top checking line, um, hooking, holding, that type of stuff. You have to be a very mentally strong individual to f fight through that. And in the, in the meantime, lead uh, a young team like he has this year. So he definitely has that tool. Give us something that you wanted him to get better at this year that he got better at. <laughs> well, the, there's a number of, of areas in his game. I think he's, he's improved throughout the season. First of all, you, you look at him taking on the, uh, the captaincy. Um, we haven't even stepped on the ice yet, and there were questions about whether he was the right guy or not. I think he's answered those. Uh, so he's been able to um, evolve in, the, in that situation. Um, you know, on the ice, our power play has improved. He's taken uh, some responsibilities with penalty kill. That's been a, an improvement in that area. Face-off wise, as the season's gone on, um, you know, the number hasn't jumped up dramatically, but in key situations, he's been able to win a lot more face-offs than he did in the past. Um, you know, go on and on. I, I think if you if you looked at his game now compared to the beginning of the year, um, he's at a higher level, and uh, that's a sign of a of a dominant player. Um, he is he's faced it. Um, yeah, but they have a game plan for him now like uh, we played in my mind we've played 10 playoff games already um, they haven't come out in succession against the same team but we've been in that environment where um, he's face tight checking he's face line matching um, you know and others on our team have had to, to react to that as well but uh, um, you know I guess in a seven game series it can, can be different but uh, the checkers and the players that play against Connor take a lot of pride in what they do too. Not often are they on their B game, um, so he's faced a lot of, of tough uh, opponents already. Is he kind of like Mike Tyson in the sense that everyone's got a plan for McDavid until they play him? Well, I'm sure they do. I don't think anybody approaches the game without one, but um, you know, and there, there's nights where uh, the other team gets the better of him or of us. That's hockey. That's why we play the games. Uh, but he he has um, fought through it already for for many many nights. Would the cherry on top be 100? Uh, for the team or for Connor? Both for Connor. Well, I'd rather see the team get 100, but obviously, <laughs> uh, you know, obviously Connor is a, a big part of the team, and um, you know he has the ability and the skill to do it. One thing I know he won't do is cheat to get there. He never has all year, so uh, that's a real good sign for us.